Okay, folks, we're going to give you a little Earthquake 101 here. Just kind of explain to you what a helicorder display is and how to read it. If, at the bottom of this video, you'll see a link that tells you where to go to, and you can find these helicorder displays. What you're looking on the screen at the moment is that's the ones that's in South Carolina. It's not all of them, just some of them that is displayed here. And the one that we're going to be looking at today is Lake Jocassee, and that is the closest one to the upstate. And that will be the one that I'll be kind of talking about today and kind of explaining to you what you want to, what you're looking for and what you're seeing. Let's go over here to the 10th. And this is a couple days before. This is a basic normal day. This is what we want it to look like. If you look on the left hand column, it gives you the time, which is, it starts at 1900 hours and it goes all the way down to 1800 hours. And of course the next day will pick up from there. Each hour has a different color ink. As you can see, the reason it's for that is so that if there is any uh, seismic activity, it will stretch into the next hour, but it, but it won't get to the point where you can't read the display. So basically that right there is a normal, what we want it to look like. All right, let's go back here. We're going to go back to the 13th at Lake Jocassee. This was the day before Notice the day before there was activity and it was all day long. It started at 1900 and it went all the way down to 1800. It was the whole day of seismic activity. None of it was strong enough to, to cause an earthquake, but there was something going on the 13th. This right here tells you folks, if you come up here and you look, there's some stuff going on. So you might want to keep your heads up. Next thing we're going to do is going to go back to the 15th. This is the day of the 4.2, and I'm going to let you see what it looks like on the screen here. See that big green line? That right there is your earthquake. That's what earthquakes look like. See how bold and dark the line is? And that baby extends all the way down into 3 o'clock in the morning. And this was the one that happened, if you'll come over here to the left, 2,200 hours, and if you go down here at the bottom, and you read over to about the 25th, uh, the 25th minute, that's when that baby started. That's what an earthquake looks like on a helicopter display. Notice down here, if you'll go down here at the bottom, this was 8 o'clock the next morning, this red one, I'm just going to pick this one. There was still some seismic activity going on here. This was 8 o'clock the next morning, but it was nothing compared to the earthquake that we had at 22 which was t about 10.25 uh, that night. All right, we're going to go back here now. We're going to look at the 16th. We're going to look at the 3.2 aftershock that we had today. Just down here at the bottom. See, so if you come over here to your left-hand column, 1,500, there's your aftershock. That's the one that happened today. Uh, notice it's in black. See how it stretches up into the next hours? That's the reason you have different colors. So whenever you come to this website, you can look and you can tell if there's any activity going on. And of course, I'm going to go back one more time and I want you to look at what a helicopter display should look like. And that's what we want right there, folks. Whenever you see that right there, that lets you know that there's no uh, seismic activity happening. And anyway, so... Please, if you get a chance, visit this website. You can see it every day. They, it's constantly on. Uh, I've been looking at it, uh, I think, since about 2011. I don't know if any of y'all remember. We had an earthquake about in 2011 or 2012 sometime, that time frame. And I started looking at these charts. And I've been looking at them off and on ever since then. It's probably been four months since I've looked at it. But I occasionally... Whenever I get on the internet, I ain't got nothing to do. I'll go in and I'll start browsing and I'll look at these helicopters. But anyway, this is just some information for you. Let you know if you want to see what's going on. You know, you can come to this website, come up here and look at these helicopter displays. And of course, like I say, this is just the ones around South Carolina. There's one here in Hodges. We can, uh, we can go right here and look at Hodges and see it picked up the three point or the four point two that we had the other day. All right, folks, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section, and I hope this uh, explains to you how to read a helicopter display. Thanks very much.